Hello, welcome to Ernest Prattle. What, what's Ernest Prattle? Well, Ernest Prattle is, it's me and my little corner. It's a brand new vlog. And uh, what I'm going to be doing over uh, the next few weeks and months is I'll be having hopefully some interesting conversations with all types of individuals from all over the world. Some may be famous, some not so famous. But hopefully what I intend to do is to get a reaction, hopefully to get you to either smile or to um, feel emotions or just, you know, feel what the person I'm speaking to is trying to tell you. And, you know, maybe learn something. So I'm a little bit new to all this. I've had my dummies guides out to to vlogging and to using Zoom. So this is my first attempt and uh, it's, well, it's my pilot edition, episode one. And I thought it'd be a good thing to do a very personal introduction. So the first person, uh, well, the first people I'm gonna get in for a, for a chat or, well, a very good, very good friend of mine it's in fact my son um my name is paul wardle and my son's name is paul wardle also just to confuse you but he's paul wardle junior so i call him paul junior and i've got paul's friends uh brandon um and reuben also on to to join the conversation so what i'm going to do now without uh, further ado is just to get those guys into the chat and we're going to have a conversation so let me just in invite to my my good friends um So, first of all, let me introduce you to my son. Uh, hello, Paul. Hello, Dad. We've then got uh, Paul's friend, uh, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hi. And Paul's other friend, Reuben. Good evening, Reuben. Hello. Right, hello. so what I'll do first off is, um, let me just go to you guys individually, one at a time. Just introduce yourselves, tell me where you're from, and just give me a little bit of detail about, you know, what you like to do and a bit, a bit of stuff about yourself. So I'll start with, with you first, Paul, if that's okay. All right. Um, well, obviously, I'm his son, Paul. Um, I like, in my spare time, to do, obviously, gaming. Who doesn't? And I like to go out and enjoy outside, you know, go to my mate's house, but can't now because COVID. But um, mainly what I do with my time is I'll come back from school, talk to my family, and then do some revision, do some work, and then go on my Xbox for a bit and then go to bed. And uh, how old are you currently, Paul? Sorry, Paul. What? How old are you currently? You... I'm 15. 15 at the moment. Thank you, Paul. So let's pop on same thing to Brandon. Tell me a little bit about yourself, please, brother. Uh, well, um, I'm from Nottingham and uh, I like to game and just chill and that's it. I like to game and chill? Yeah. Who doesn't? And then on to our lovely Reuben. Hello, um, I am from Nottingham and I'm into basketball and animation. Basketball animation. Yep. Right. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is um, just take you off on a little tangent about what, something that I think all you guys will appreciate. We've had a really, well, tough year in relation to the COVID situation. Um, me, myself, personally, it's had a really adverse effect on my own health. Um, I've put on about six stone in weight. It's 
it affected my arthritis, which means that I'm now more or less um, stuck in the house. I've developed type 2 diabetes and other ailments that have put me in a really bad position. And so I just wanted to say, whilst I got you guys on the chat, and particularly to Paul Jr., I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Paul for the amazing efforts and the help he's given me over the last few months in relation to, well, everything really is fetching carry for me, done shopping for me, helped me to do stuff in the house. It's been amazing. So I just want to say, you know, whilst I've got the opportunity, I love you, son. You've been an absolute diamond and thank you for everything you've done for me. So with that in mind, in my personal experience, which has been, like I say, pretty testing, I want to ask you first off, Paul, is how have you coped with the COVID-19 situation this year? How it's affected your life and how has it affected your schooling? Can you tell me a bit about your journey for the year, please, Paul? Well, when COVID originally started, I was in a relationship. Um, but as COVID began, like to the day that lockdown first occurred, um, she left me. So that took a huge impact based on how I looked at my days throughout lockdown as a whole. Um, obviously, coping with depressions and anxieties, sleeping problems and just being antisocial most of the time. Um, it didn't really help. But because of my two friends, which I have in the call right now, I've been able to cope through it quite well, especially Ruben and Brandon coming on Xbox and Brandon asking me to come around here every day and keep me going and distracting me. And obviously Ruben buying me Lucas Aids because I'm a bit of a Lucas Aid addict, but you know. Um, but pulling through is a struggle for some people, as I know my dad. But getting out of my house and going to my dad's house to help him out even though not every teenager would love to do that like I know most teenagers would like to just sit there and would like to just go on the consoles or just sit on the phones all day but helping a family member that's in need is more than entertainment it's actually doing something and physically going through the struggle of my family needs help and obviously if I was needing help they'd help me so it's paying the return back in the most substantial way possible that helps you just pull through and you need to obviously distract yourself and just try and stay back and keep calm and stay relaxed and that's how I've pulled through basically. Thank you Paul. Same, same question to you Brandon, how have you found the year? Uh, well originally uh, it was all right um, but like over time my granddad, he's gone in a home and that's had a big impact on the family and like how like, everyone's, I guess, looked at each other because I guess he was the main person that kept us all together. So with him going in a home, it kind of it didn't split us up, but it just created a bit of uh, the other argument and stuff around him and stuff. Have you had trouble seeing your granddad there, Brandon? Yeah, uh, I've been seeing him once. Uh, that, so it's only been once that I've seen him. So how has the school situation affected you, Brandon? Have, have you had a lot of time off school due, due to the circumstances? Yeah, uh, we've had about seven months off of school, so a lot of time. So, I mean, same, same, thank, you, thank you for that, Brandon. And same question to you, I mean, Ruben. How's your year? But I understand you've had a, a particularly difficult year this year. I'm, I'm right in saying, Ruben. Yes. Um, my mum has passed away a couple of months ago. And it's just made me feel really uneasy, like something's not right. But apart from that, everything's been okay. Yeah. Uh, how have you coped, Ruben? I'm, I'm really sorry about your mum's situation. Um, have you have you had people in place there to help you with with your grieving? Have you got family you could talk to? Oh yeah, 
and I've also got Paul and Brandon. They've they've helped me a lot as well. And I thank them a lot. Well, that, you've had a doubly difficult year, Brandon, and I really feel for you. And I mean, the, the scenario as it is, it's not conducive to to dealing with any types of stress, and that must have been horrific for you. So, I, I really appreciate the fact that you're brave enough to come online and talk to us about it. Um, I mean, you're you're looking you're looking very well, Ruben. You're you're a strong lad. I know you've had a lot Thank to get. You. Looking really well, Ruben. So. And I know these two guys have got your back to look after you. So at some time in the future, we'll have to see if we can uh, pencil another trip to Blackpool or something. What do you Sounds reckon? good. Yeah, we'll have to do something special because I'm not letting this thing beat me and I won't be stuck in the house forever. None, none of us will be. So at some point, we'll plan some really positive things and get you guys having a bit of fun because... That's what life's about. It's about smiling and having a laugh. It's not about what's happening in mean, This is just unprecedented, something that we've never had to deal with before. Um, <clears throat> in relation to the last weekend, um, bonfire night, have you guys all missed out on that or has anything happened in relation to fireworks and stuff? Mm. No, we haven't really done anything. I've normally just watched the fireworks that other people have put out. Well, it's I've had the pleasure of the fireworks night on the on the street where I live, as a matter of fact. But there's been no no official events or anything. It's just I think it's just individuals letting fireworks off. To be fair, what about you, Paul? I, I noticed you put something on one of your is it your Instagram? He's watching fireworks, or was that unofficial? Uh, right, it was unofficial. Um, before lockdown fully occurred again, I was like, running this house, school again, loads people. of fireworks going on. No, no, not yet, not yet. But, I'm um, sure that's just. I was at like Brandon's for lockdown that. fully occurred. Obviously, yeah, obviously it's just a joke. But um. I was at Brandon's house and there was a lot of fireworks going off. And he was like, you know what? Let's just go outside and see how much is going off. And literally the amount of smoke that was on the streets, you couldn't see five feet in front of you. It was just completely gone. And it was like, you could describe it as like, the amount of fireworks that were going off in people's back gardens, it was just, it wasn't natural to say it was locked down and people shouldn't be, obviously joined in together but there was a load of fireworks going off and it was just I was like I've got to get a picture within all this smoke you, you could call it to get the effect very autistic Paul you know in relation to um, the next big thing which might be a non-starter this year looking at how things are going but Christmas so I'm gonna ask you guys have you all been good yeah? yeah, Ruben, what have you asked yeah. Santa Claus for this year? Um, mainly just clothes, really. I've kind of forgot about Christmas, to be honest. Well, I know what you mean, but I suppose that we've still got to carry on as best we can. Um, the new lockdown situations in Nottinghamshire means that we are restricted by the amount of people allowed in the home. But I think it's up to about six people, so we should be able to do a bit of mingling. I mean, I'm going to be struggling a little because I'm potentially going to be on my own, but I've always got this thing. I've always got Zoom, so I, I might jump in with you guys. So uh, what about you, Brandon? What have you asked Santa Claus for this year? Um, nothing much, really. Probably nothing just, much? Yeah, nothing much. Probably the same as Ruben. Just same as some clothes? Yeah. And what about you, Paul? Have you been a good boy this year? You're not answering. <laughs> that sounds suspicious. <laughs> so what, what are you asking Santa Claus for this year, Paul? Um, mainly just the new Xbox One Series X. Well, not Xbox oh, okay. One. So you, I thought that was coming. It's not like these two guys just want clothing. Well, 
I, I've been promised it because I was meant to pre-order it, but we were too late. So I was promised I would get one. So that's more or less it. I mean, this is, this is my first attempt at vlogging, guys. So you guys must do a lot of internet chat. So how do you think we've got on so far for a first attempt? It seems okay. Yeah? I think we've wrong with it. Well, thank you, Ruben. I'm taking that as a big plus. What do you reckon, Brandon? We're doing okay? Yeah, you're doing quite well. Well, thank you very much. You're probably biased though, aren't you, Paul? <sighs> Yeah, it's all right. Are we doing okay? I must apologise, by the way, Paul. Yeah, the, my connection ain't the best, but it's it's all right. I'm, I'm pleased with what a, you're saying. A bit, a bit of a lag, Paul, but we just go with it. And you look the part, mate. What with the headphones I, and the proper microphone, you look like a proper vlogger. Apart from the wi the Wi-Fi, wi -Fi, yeah, I could do. I could get through that. Yeah, it the, it just keeps cutting out. So I have to I have to try and make do with what I can understand. Well, you, it's done it's done okay, Paul. We've uh, got the gist of what you've got to say uh, today. Um, what I like to do, I'm going to tie this in with the rest of the vlogs I do going forwards. I mean, um, I've got some some more guests lined up to have conversations with, and there's one cheeky thing which I'm going to try and slip in at the end of all my vlogs. And basically what it is, is would you guys be kind enough to say a big hello one at a time to my mum? My mum's name's Anne. So first I'm going to go to Reuben. Will you say hello to my mum Anne, please, Reuben? Hello, Anne. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Brandon, can you say hello to my mum Anne for me, please? Yep. Hello, Anne. Thank you, Brandon. And it's your turn now, Paul. It's quite a bit different for you. Yeah, no. Hello, Mama, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, everybody. So, I mean, is there anything else that you guys want to say that you want to input into the conversation? How, how are you finding mm -hmm. the school? Put into the conversation. I um, I could. I think Ruben can relate to this because he's in most of my lessons. But Brendan can as well. The education is it's quite slow, but um, it's it's kind of slow, but at the same time, the teacher gets through the point of what they're trying to get to. So there's you, a lot more revision needed. It's are you like, doing uh, Zoom meetings for school? Or are you back in the classroom? Um, no, we go to the actual building. We're actually... Right. Yeah, we're back in classrooms. Like, But there's a lot more revision needed because of all the COVID reasons. And especially Brandon with his lessons mainly now based in the new building that was built at the school. It's a bit confusing to get around because there's a one-way system through the whole school but they're on about you can't mix groups but like the corridors have got all the years so like we're still mixing groups and they're not allowed to it's a bit confusing to have but considering mocks and next week as well it doesn't really help the stress of the students but considering you're doing fantastically well and why are you guys? Does any of you guys want to say hello to anybody? Probably, I'm gonna say hello to Alistair Morrison because knowing knowing you, Dad, he's gonna end up seeing this video. So I want to say hello to him and hopefully I speak to him soon as well. Well, it's funny to say that, Paul. That he probably will watch this at some point, and he, he will no doubt be on a future video. So I should definitely pass on your your comments. Would you like to say hello to anybody, Ruben? Um, I'll make sure to say hi to Alistair as well. Hi, oh, Alistair. Thank you very much, Ruben. He's, 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 uh, he's been treated by two, two greetings. So what about you, Brandon? I'll probably just say the same. Hi, Alistair. Well, thank you very much. That's three hellos to Alistair. 
Alice the Morrison, you've been uh, treated tonight. So, hello from me as well. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to say thank you very much, guys, for your input today. Um, and thank you for letting me, well, fumble my way through my first vlog. So I'm hoping that it's been okay for you guys. So I'm just going to say goodbye to you one at a time now. So, Ruben, thank you very much for your uh, input. Thanks a lot, Paul. I get the feeling this is going to be good. Thank you. Same to you, Brandon. Thank you very much, Brandon, for all of your input. It's been great speaking to you. You too. And Paul, once again, you're very loved, son. Thank you for joining me tonight. And thank you for all the help. That's right. Thanks, brother. See you soon. See you soon. So, there you have it. That's my first trip into the world of vlogs. So, like I say, it, that was my pilot edition. So, a few teething troubles. I'll keep the dummies booked and keep getting the tips. I really hope you enjoyed our conversations. Uh, as you probably figured out there, we will be speaking to world famous photographer, Alistair Morrison at some point, potentially in my next video. So please do tune in for, for that. Uh, in the meantime, if you do enjoy the, the content, then please click the like button and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.